What's up, what's up, what's up, Knicks fans, Nick Nation, everyone out there in the NBA. Uh, this has been a crazy offseason for my squad, the New York Knicks. Uh, the thing I would like to say with this Donovan Mitchell thing, uh, were the New York Knicks the only team trying to get Donovan Mitchell? Because they made it to trade a topic. I mean, I can see why, because they had a lot to offer, but... The New York Knicks was not the only team trying to get this guy a lot more. But now the New York Knicks is only the laughing stock of the NBA. So what I got to say is they even was like, ask your mother to uh, <clears throat> say that they still was going to suck. They still was going to suck with Dominic Mitchell. They weren't going to be a playoff caliber team. I don't understand, but it seems like the Knicks is the only team with a bad record. I mean, the other year they was in fourth place, and no one gave a shit. They finished fourth place, and they made it to the playoffs, which they haven't done in a long time. No one gave a shit. No one gave a shit when they was going to get down in the They It still was saying it was going to suck. Any team can make the playoffs in the East. Any team can make the playoffs in the NBA. Of course, you have your top contenders. Okay, and that's not at slow. First, you get your top. But when it gets down, like, to what? Six and down? You know what I'm saying? Maybe five and down. That five going to be strong, though. But after that, that's going to be it. And it's a billion other teams out there that ain't going to make it and struggle to make it and doing all that. And don't even have the potential, okay? So the Knicks did all that with Coach still coaching, all right? And they still make the playoffs. So... It would have been a good piece, but we the only team that got to give up arm, legs, and legs, legs, and neck bone. A guy like James Harden goes to Brooklyn for nothing. And if you guys want to add any more dumb trades in, you can do that as well. Okay, but it's only with the Knicks. The Knicks got to give up the whole thing to give up that. Now, we would have had to end up giving up. You can't give up what you're going to pair the person with. Because there's no purpose for that, okay? RJ is to be in a rotation with him, okay? I mean, you already know who he signed this offseason. Yeah, I know that's his son or whatever, but still, we he, Dallas, you know who he played with, so we already know he's a good player. He, he's not a scrub. So, you know what I'm saying? You got that, man. Just like, any, like I said, that fifth seed going to be strong, but going on down, that's how it is in the NBA. There's plenty of teams that's like that. So it, it don't matter if the Knicks are fourth place or they fighting for the last spot. It's still going to be the same thing. It's still going to be the same thing. So all I can say is that we could have got rid of maybe one bench player or two bench players and done those picks. Get what I'm saying, but they're not going to get rid of uh, the young guy. I barely got a chance to see him play. You know, but I know a lot about him because I ain't had my, you know, cable. I watch a couple games and I see him, so. But they like him, your favorite. And obviously, uh, Grimes, Grimes, he is good. So everyone likes him. So this video is going to run out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Should the Knicks should have gave up their whole damn squad and not have no one in the rotations to play with Dominic Mitchell? Like, that's just stupid. That doesn't make no sense. I don't care what no one else say. And tell me about some more dumbass trades that happen. But the team ain't have to give up nothing. No one. Simple trade. Peace.